A winner, yes. A champion, no, he is not. Jojo Diaz defeats Jesus Rojas by unanimous decision right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. We discuss what type of fight this was. Thank you for tuning in. Five, four, three, two, one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen, but this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. This fight between Jojo Diaz and Rojas, it was um, back and forth. You know, the scorecards had it a 112, 116, 111, 117, 113, 115, all for uh, Diaz. Mr. A's scorecard was a 116 to 112. I had a, I had a Rojas. Winnings round 12, 9, 6, and 5. Toss-up round could have been round 3 for me. Now, this fight, if you want to compare it to fights when it comes to judging it, it was like a, a Sean Porter type fight, uh, a Triple G Canelo type fight. Very competitive rounds, but to me, it was easily given to... Um, Diaz, the fight that is between the points he won. You know, he didn't win the he didn't win uh, eight rounds easily, but he won them. Now, he to me, he, you could give round three to anyone. It's a toss around, but I gave the first four rounds to Diaz. Uh, he came out much like Canelo. He was fighting in some rapid fire bursting spurts like three to four spurts uh, around but from the get-go right from round one jojo diaz knew what type of fight he was in ding ding two minutes and at basically 14 seconds into the fight two minutes and 46 second mark rojas bent diaz over and just fucking gave him a liver shot right a right liver shot man and the Diaz stood up, you know, like circled back to the center of the ring, banged his hands, like, fuck, that shit hurt. And you could tell right there, Diaz, like, damn, I'm in for a fucking war. And for like that, for, and then after that, he came and just started pop shotting Row House with a lot of combinations. Flurry, flurry punches. And then you can see the glove difference. Even some guy uh, on the Facebook, uh, I guess, chatting, said, why is his gloves bigger? It's, he chose to have those cotton gloves or those padded gloves while Rojas chose to, I think, have those horsehair gloves, those Reyes tight ones. It took me a while to watch this fight. That's why I'm doing a late replay or a, a late to the party post fight recap. I fell asleep on this fight like three times. Um, and then round five and six, I gave to Rojas because what was happening for the first four rounds, Rojas was like winning round. He was winning like the first minute, first 45 seconds. And then Roja and then Diaz had come with some flurries that had last about 10 seconds here, four seconds here. Well, not four seconds, like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And he'd do like three of those in the next two minutes. And it, it'll wipe out the first minute of what Rojas was doing. But in rounds five and six, Rojas opened a minute, turned to like a minute and a half, minute and 45 seconds. And Diaz was getting tired. And his normal spurts was going from three to maybe like one good spurt. So rounds five and six, Rojas pressure, just body shots, uppercuts, you know, in, in, in your face pressure jabs. This, it was basically the same round over and over and over. This was a grog, a grog, a groundhog day fight. You know, round one just repeated itself over and over and over. The only difference was Jojo Diaz started getting tired and, um, he, he was no longer able to pop shot Rojas off, so Rojas' constant pressure wasn't being interrupted, and it was allowing him 
uh, more momentum and stealing and winning more um, seconds. Like I said, every round started about the same. Rojas was win the first minute and he'd get pop shot in combination and flurries um, from Diaz that is still that a minute away from him. In round eight, it was about the, the round eight it was a back and forth action. 30 seconds still. And each person went 30 seconds, 30 seconds. That gave the round nine to Rojas. The Rojas was busier. And by, by this time, you could tell Diaz was real tired. His flurries that was going like from three to four flurries around, he only had like one flurry spot. And he just he was just so busy trying to get away from him. He like in early rounds, round six and seven, eight, his dad was like, Hey, you gotta spin, you gotta spin. So he had punch, punch, and take a side step off. And round nine, he couldn't get that side step away from Rojas. Rojas was just in his face. In round 10, 11, uh, Diaz found a little more uh, second win in round 10. It was a, kind of a, a close round, but then I was on like a like 40 second mark, 50 second mark. They, they each went for like a nice flurry. They, they just each threw a fucking put like a, a, like a sixth round um, flurry at each other. And that one Diaz the round because during that exchange, he landed about, and Ro, Rojas missed about three clear shots. And dur during a close close round that action was a big standout and round nine uh, I mean round 10 the 40 at round you could see Diaz was tired Diaz was tired uh, then he went to round 11 and you could, you could tell this was you could see Diaz was absolutely gassed out around 42nd mark the uh, referee kind of breaks him. You see Diaz look up at the clock. <sighs> he look, he's looking up, all fucking breathing heavy. Diaz is a big, solid 126. He is solid. You know, there's no way in hell he was 126 in that ring. He looked about he was about maybe like almost 140 to be honest. He looks solid in that ring. By the 40 second mark, he looks up at the clock, and then like 15 seconds later, about the 20 second mark, 15 second mark, he, he like he goes to uh, break the action and try and hold Rojas. He can't even like step forward and hold him. He just like falls on the floor. His legs are just heavy. Falls on the floor. Uh, barely wins that round. And then round 12, Rojas is just bringing the pressure. And, and Diaz is just trying his hardest just to hold on and just win the fight. And that's what happened. Like I said, I gave Rojas round 12. Like I said, this fight was a competitive fight. But th like the first seven, six rounds, Diaz stole... The first minute away from Rojas in every round from flurries for the next minute and a half. And then, like I said, the second half of the fight, Diaz flurries lessen. That's why uh, Rojas won some of the rounds in the second half of the fight. But very, very good. Like I said, again, I compare this fight to a, a Canelo GGG, a, a Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. Very competitive fights, but. Thurman easily won that fight. Very competitive fight, but Triple G easily won that fight. The points added up, but they didn't win the fight. They didn't win the rounds easily. This is the Double RT Boxing Show saying thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time and support. And if you have not already subscribed, hopefully you're entertained by the show, show segment tonight, and you subscribe next. Thank you, and see you on the next one.